Hello YouTube. I have some contaminated bags here of lion's mane, gold oyster, uh, king oyster, and probably some others. I have bulk substrate and I have grain spawn. I'm using a syringe, some fermented shiitakes. I made these myself. They're, they are the shiitakes that we grow. Um, I'm going to try to inject fermented shiitakes into the bags because somewhere I read that the probiotics that benefit humans also benefit the mushrooms. So I'm hoping that they'll help the mushrooms fight off the contamination in the bags and it might be a great solution for reversing contamination that isn't very well known in mycology. So I really hope this works. Okay YouTube, I have inoculated all of these bags with different amounts of shiitake ferment. Which is a, yeah, fermented anything is just adding probiotics to the to a solution of organic materials so the beneficial bacteria can break it down. Um, this used to be full of fermented shiitake mushrooms. <clears throat> I put labels on each of the bags for how, meant, how much of the ferment solution I added. You can see the ferment. It's the yellow stuff. Uh, on each of the bags, I squeezed it through a syringe. I will tell you the results of this experiment in two weeks. Hello YouTube. Adding fermented shiitakes to the mushroom bags that were contaminated did not change their state of contamination. Some of them got worse, but the grain spawn came back the best after shaking it. There's hardly any contamination. And 3S means 3 milliliters of shiitake. Uh, brine plus the mushroom. So I, tr the next experiment's gonna be me inoculating my backyard with one of these grain spawn jar, grain spawn bags, and I'm gonna try to grow some king oyster in my backyard. So <clears throat> hopefully that works.